Hello, I'm Laura Marshall. And I'm Melinda Rose, and this is Light Matters for July 3rd, 2012. On this week's show, Acousto Optics deepens deep tissue imaging, man-made materials shrink optical cavities, plasma's potential for photolithography is pursued, the Army aims to add laser-guided lightning to its arsenal, and a funky fish is found to focus photonically. An Acousto Optic technique more than doubles the depth that light can be focused inside biological tissue. The previous limit was about one millimeter, but researchers at Caltech can reach 2.5 millimeters. They built on their own previous work and that of Dr. Lee Hong Wang's group at Washington University in St. Louis. The Caltech group shined light through a tissue sample and recorded the resulting scattered light on a holographic plate. The recording contained information about how the light beam scattered through the tissue. By playing it in reverse, they sent the light back through the other side of the tissue, retracing the beam's path to the original source. Any light that passed through the region with a focused ultrasound changed color somewhat. The researchers identified and recorded the color shifted light. Using the playback technique, they sent the light back, inducing only the color shifted portion to retrace the path to the small region where the ultrasound was focused. By moving that focus, the researchers can control where they want to focus the light. With further improvements, they may be able to reach 10 centimeters, the depth limit of ultrasound, within a few years. Applications include treating cancer with photodynamic therapy. Uh, you mentioned Dr. Li Hong Wang. Viewers, we'd like to let you know you can hear more about his research in a photonics media webinar later this month. Yes, Dr. Wang and Meng Sui of HHMI are both speaking on bioimaging advances their groups have made. You can register for the webinar by clicking the link in this video or visiting photonics.com slash webinars. It's well known that optical cavities are the major components of most lasers and those made from natural materials can't be smaller than the wavelength of light propagating through them. But new nanoscale optical cavities made from metamaterials counter conventional wisdom. Due to the unnaturally high refractive index supported in the metamaterials, their cavities can be smaller than one-tenth of the optical wavelength. The result, say scientists at Berkeley Lab and the University of California, is a tremendous opportunity to develop high-performance photonic devices for communications. 3D nanoscale optical cavities made from metamaterials also have the potential to generate the most intense nanolaser beams to date and hold promise for a range of other technologies, including LEDs, optical sensors, nonlinear optics, quantum optics, and photonic integrated circuits. A University of Washington group working for more than a decade on fusion energy said they have found a potential solution to a pressing problem for the microelectronics industry. For more than four decades, Moore's Law has allowed ever smaller, faster, lighter, and less energy-intensive electronics. But it's hit a roadblock. Today's 193 nanometer ultraviolet light can't etch circuits any smaller. The future standard will be 13.5 nanometers, less than 1 14th the current size. Such extreme ultraviolet light can be created only from plasmas. The electronics industry is trying to produce that light in various ways, but they just can't produce enough power. The UW beam can produce that light, and it lasts up to a thousand times longer than competing technologies, as well as provides more control. That translates directly into more light output, more power, and more time to etch the wafer. They have verified that their technique could produce 13.5 nanometer light. They have shrunk the size of their equipment from the size of a broomstick to the size of a pin, which can produce a sharp beam. The startup Z Plasma was established to commercialize the product and is seeking corporate investors. In the meantime, the group will continue its fusion research project, which is funded by the Department of Energy. Army scientists and engineers at Picatinny Arsenal are developing a device that will shoot lightning bolts down laser beams to destroy targets. The laser-induced plasma channel uses an ultra-short pulse laser of modest energy to make a beam so intense that it focuses on itself in air and stays focused in a filament. The plasma is located along the path of the laser beam and is directed at will by moving a mirror. Targets could include an enemy vehicle or even some types of unexploded ordnance. The elephant-nosed fish, thought to be blind, was found to have light-reflecting cups lined with photonic crystals in its retinas that help navigate its dark, muddy environment. This unusual eye structure might inform future sensors that filter signal noise or improve vision in such murky conditions. Vertebrate eyes have both light-sensitive rod photoreceptors and cone photoreceptors, which are less sensitive to light but can distinguish color and details. An international team discovered that the retina of the fish is structured so that both types of receptors work simultaneously. The cones are grouped within larger light reflecting cups lined with photonic crystals and the rods are positioned behind these reflectors. This unusual arrangement works because the mirror-like surfaces of the cups propagate light in a way that delivers just the right wavelength to both the rods and the cones. 
The fish have an advantage because they are not able to see or get distracted by small particles, but they can see big predators moving. That's it for this edition of Light Matters, the industry's only weekly newscast. We'd like to hear from you. Tell us what you like or don't like about our program. We welcome your comments and suggestions at lightmatters at photonics.com. You'll find links to share and subscribe to Light Matters by clicking the Share with Friends button on our video player. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.